Hello, Paul here, down by the Sunshine Coast University Hospital, you can see that in the background, uh, by a lovely lake here, and I found a little stool in the garden to continue reading from Ephesians chapter 1. Um, Paul's just finished writing and saying, May God himself, the heavenly Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, release grace over you and impart total well-being into your lives. That's a great prayer. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, all because he sees us wrapped into Christ. This is why we celebrate him with all of our hearts. God sees us wrapped in Christ, his Son, and he's blessed us with every spiritual blessing because of that. And he chose us to be his very own, joining us to himself even before he laid the foundation of the universe, because of his great love, he ordained us so that we would be seen as holy in his eyes with an unstained innocence. Oh, he wants to see us as holy. First of all, we're justified. He sees us just as if we'd never sinned. Then we're sanctified day by day as we follow him and eventually we become holy in his sight. For it was always in his perfect plan to adopt us as his delightful children through our union with Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, so that his tremendous love that cascades over us would glorify his grace. Wow, some of this is so hard to comprehend. It's so wonderful. For the same love he has for his beloved one, Jesus, he has for us, and his unfolding plan brings him great pleasure. So as we believe in Christ his Son, he sees us wrapped in Jesus, and the love that he has for his Son, he has for us and it brings him great pleasure. You know, it says in Romans that the whole earth groans, waiting for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed. He wants his children to be revealed to the world, a, a dying and troubled world, and sometimes a very a sad dying and troubled world. So there it is, some wonderful news there. And since we are now joined to Christ, we've been given the treasures of redemption by his blood, the total cancellation of our sins, all because of that cascading riches of his grace. The superabundant grace is already powerfully working in us, releasing within us all forms of wisdom and practical understanding. <laughs> I knew I couldn't do that on my own. Any wisdom or understanding that I have is coming from the Father in heaven. And through the revelation of the Anointed One, he unveiled his secret desires to us. The hidden mystery of his long-range plan, which he was delighted to implement from the very beginning of time. And because of God's unfailing purpose, his detailed plan will reign supreme through every period of time until the fulfilment of all the ages finally reaches its climax, when God makes all things new in all of heaven and earth through Jesus Christ. Wow, this, this book of Ephesians chapter 1 is worth just spending some time in and and getting full grip of what it means. It just goes on and on, and it's so fantastic as it expands God's plan for your life and for mine and for the whole world. So God bless you. There's my phone. My wife's ringing so you can come pick me up. So get into the Word yourself and let the Word of God get into you. See you later.